guys, what is up? Vixie here bringing you a patch 7.3 jewel crafting guide. In this guide, I want to show you guys how to get the new cuts for the uh, the new gems that just came out with the patch. I know this video is super late, but unfortunately, I got struck with um, bronchitis really bad and uh, the flu. So I've been out of commission for like two weeks. Um, but I wanted to get this out before reset. Uh, there's still plenty of people that don't know how to get the cuts for the new Epic Gems. So I just wanted to make this guide to show you guys how to do that. So, if you've been up to date on the Argus questline, um, you would have already had Makari open. And if you already have Makari open, then you can just come to this guy, the Voral, the Master Jewel Crafter, and uh, he'll actually have a quest for you to go to Makari uh, and go to his house and do this kind of like jewel crafting puzzle, and he'll give you the new cuts. Since I uh, don't have uh, all of the quest line open yet, I'm going to show you guys which ones you have to do real quick uh, in order to open this up so he'll actually like give you a quest. Um, I do only have level 1 jewel crafting, so I just went to Dalaran, talked to the jewel crafting vendor, introduced myself, and picked up Legion jewel crafting, and now I'm going to go to uh, Makari and do those quests real quick. Okay guys, so you're going to get on the vendor car and you're going to talk to Velen and he's going to do some RP stuff and he's going to lead you to uh, the Triumphrit's End. Um, kind of like a quest hub which is going to turn into kind of like a, a foothold on Makari. So you're going to talk to him, he's going to give you two quests, just pick these up, these are super simple to do, um, and then after you do these two he's actually going to give you a follow up quest. So the first uh, two quests are really fast, super simple, all you have to do is kill these mobs, they're going to drop these um, fragments that you need and uh, you'll just gather one and click on the pylon and restore the pylon uh, very easy to do shouldn't have any trouble um, the next part is there's gonna be this um, boss that you're gonna have to kill and collect I think his heart or something from him um, so you're just gonna kill him and uh, collect that piece and turn both of those quests in and then underneath there'll be a third quest uh, to activate the defense system just do that and you're good to go okay so when you are done um, just head back to Velen and um, some little RP stuff's gonna happen uh, make sure you turn in the quest to uh, add triumphants in to the navigation console um the teleporter pad will already be there and you can use it but uh actually doing that part of the quest is what's going to activate um voral in on the vindicar to be able to give you the uh jewel crafting quest so whenever you turn that in and you actually activate the portal just go back to the vindicar right away captain and then you can see down here, um, quest just popped up. I'm not sure why two quests just popped up, but hey. Oh, two quests popped up because I'm an engineer. <laughs> May you find what you seek. So apparently this guy gives me an engineering quest, uh, but, uh, jewel crafting. So, like I said, I have level one jewel crafting. I didn't do anything. I literally just went to... Uh, dollar on to pick it up so I can show you guys. I didn't even learn any of the, the Legion stuff So I literally just picked it up and I do make sure though that you do uh, That you do go to dollar on and get the quest um, It's easy. You just talk to Tiffany in there and you she's gonna tell you to introduce yourself to the other two people You turn that in and then boom you got Legion uh, Jill crafting so we talk to this guy and he gives us this quest of colorful key. Like I said earlier, you just gotta go to his house and um, recover his jewel crafting book. Now it is a quote unquote puzzle and in order to be able to um, unlock the chest that is in his house, you will need one of each color gem. So you'll need one red gem, one purple gem, one yellow gem, one orange gem, one blue gem, and one green gem. Uh, he also gives you the follow-up quest to get uh, crowns, so um, if you want to learn how to make the crowns, you will need the extra materials for that too. I'll let you guys know, um, just ahead of time, you're going to need one Argulite, uncut, uh, one Hesillian, one Lightsphene, one Q 
Kimmerine, one Labradorite, and one Florid Malachite. And once you get all of those gems, uh, let me just accept the quest real quick. Uh, I'll show you guys exactly where his house is and uh, exactly what you have to do in order to get that. Now, I'm not actually going to complete this quest uh, because I've already done it on my main Joe Crafter. Um, I just picked up uh, Joe Crafting on this character just to show you guys um, where, uh, what exactly you're going to be doing. So, uh, you can see the quest is here. I mean, any of the teleportals will pretty much take you like right to where you have to go. Uh, I'm just going to take this teleporter to the conservatory and run my way down. Okay, so uh, I've arrived at the house. Um, the house is in the Wakener's Enclave. Um, it's going to be this house right here at 6255. Um, it's going to be a little bit before the dot on the map. Uh, and we're just going to walk in here travel to Laurel House and then unlock the chest is right here. So um, these, uh, you can see these little the placeholders on the wall. This is where you have to put uh, one of each gem into the uh, into the wall. And when you do that, it's going to create this rainbow prism down here um, on this chest. And basically, you'll be able to open up the chest. After you do that, you're just going to return back to Voril, turn in the quest, and uh, he'll unlock all of the jewel crafting recipes to be able to cut each one of the gems. Um, and then he'll also give you a follow-up quest to um, cut the crowns. So if you want the crowns, um, you will be able to, uh, I mean, if you want the crowns, you're going to need about, I think, 50 Imperium, 29 Gem Chips. You'll need three Hesilians, three Florid Malachites, and one Parmel Cyrite, and you can turn that into him, and he'll give you the recipes uh, for each one of the crowns. There are four crowns, one for each um, armor class, and... Uh, Crafting them is basically going to, like, create random stats, and, um, they can be upgraded to, uh, I believe, um, 935 item level. And, uh, something else to note is that you will lose all of the gems and all the materials in the process, so, um, a lot of people aren't doing this right now because, I mean, you're pretty much losing out on at least six grand, uh, probably more than that. Most of the gems go for a lot more than, uh, 1k a pop, but, um... And for the crowns, you'll need a couple of, of the gems, so you're pretty much losing out on all those materials. So you're not going to get those back, so just keep that in mind so that you're not super pissed off when you do this quest. Um, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'm sorry this video is late, I've just been really sick, and I'm also sorry about my voice in this video. I am just still super sick, but I am getting better, so... Uh, Hopefully I can start getting back to making content because it's annoying me that I am not producing any content right now. <laughs> so uh, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave any comments if you have any questions about uh, Joel Crafting in general or the quest. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.